accessing the curriculum. Once your DroneBlocks order has been processed, you should receive a DroneBlocks onboarding email. Now that email will tell you that you need to update the firmware, it will tell you how to activate the curriculum, and that's the important thing. If you read it, you'll see there's a section there that tells you to please email support at droneblocks.io and send through the teachers names and email addresses who are going to access the curriculum. Now there are 10 licenses that come with your DroneBlocks package, and you can actually request that a group of students share a login should you need the students to access this. Now, for clarification, it's best to email support at droneblocks.io. Now, it'll also tell you how to access the simulator module, which will explain the simulator and tell you how the password for that simulator changes once a month. So once you've got the email and you've sent through your list of teachers, you will get, you will get your username and password sent to you. Once you have that, simply open up your favorite internet browser, go to learn.droneblocks.io, click on the login, type in your email address and your password, hit login, and once you've logged in, you will see all the courses available for you. Now, at the time of filming this, we have the very first course being Troubleshooting Tello. This is going to be replaced with this Getting Started Guide that you're watching the video series from. So to access one of the courses, simply click on it. So, and then you'll have a list of all the lessons or lectures. You can click on Start Next Lecture, which will take you through the start to finish sequence from top to bottom. Or if you want to jump straight to a different lesson, such as the Wi-Fi connection, simply click on the title or you can click on start and it will jump you straight to that lesson. Now, once the lesson loads, you'll see a video that auto plays that we're just going to pause. And then once we've watched the video, we can click on complete and continue. It will then mark 9% complete and it will have a little tick next to the video. Now, if we click on the home button and we go back to our list of lectures or lessons, you'll see that I'm 9% complete because I completed my Wi-Fi connection module. And if I go back to my home page, one step back, you will actually see that I'm 9% complete on this module as well. So this is a really cool way to make sure that you can keep track of your progress. So let's go back into the troubleshooting module. Now, I just want to point out something. Here you have the welcome video and it's got a little screen with the play button. Underneath, it's got launch instructions for iOS, Android, and Chrome, and that is an article. You see the little lines like it's text. I'm gonna click on that, and here we have an embedded PDF for you to download and read. Now, some of the lessons will have a video and a PDF, one under the other. But this is just to show you the difference between the video and the PDF file. Now, where it says download, you can click on the name of the PDF, and it will download this down here. Click, download, wonderful. How cool is that? Now, the same thing applies. Once you've read your PDFs and you're happy, click on complete and continue to mark that lesson as complete. Now you'll see that we're 18% complete and it moves us automatically to the next video. That is so cool. So that is how you will work your way through all the courses in the curriculum. Now in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to maximize the curriculum by showing you where to start and which order to complete each course in. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see you in the next video.